I had done a film at MGM called Lost in a Harem with Abbott and Costello. And the young leading lady was an actress who was under contract there called, named Marilyn Maxwell. And I was cast as the leading man, the young prince. I had a wicked uncle who owned this, this whole country somewhere in a mythical place. And evidently, uh, all of the elements were right for a romance to really develop between us. And we wound up getting married. Marilyn was my first wife. When I went into the service, the marriage could not sustain the rigors of separation and all of the temptation that was left here for her. So the marriage dissolved. Were Abbott and Costello feuding when, when you uh, were in that film with them? They were at the top of their game at that time. And the one vivid recollection I have of them is they were both avid gamblers to such a degree that Lou Costello had his uh, makeup trailer moved on to a portion of the huge soundstage. And they would import their own gamblers from Las Vegas to come to Hollywood and to report there so that they could gamble with them. And they were such big stars that the studio felt that they had to handle them with kid gloves, which they did. And in between takes, these guys would bolt from the set right back to the dressing room and in there and close the door and start playing high stake card games with these guys. And they usually lost, which was sad because, as you probably recall, both of them, uh, Bud Abbott particularly, wound up destitute. And Lucas Teller didn't have much of an estate when he died. But they were wonderful to me. And we had a lot of fun on that movie.